One of the main questions we get asked a lot is, uh, some users might have experienced their MCU being broken when it actually wasn't, but rather PD1 was occupied. In order to do this, you have to reset with our utility tool provided for free by WCH. Uh, point seven, uh, that's where you have the debug interface. So that's VCC ground in PD1. Now to resolve this, we can reset the entire MCU using the WCH utility link tool. To do this, uh, you connect your MCU alongside the link, then uh, you download WCH link utility uh, and make sure you have a recent version. I'm using version 1.9. Uh, on MCU core, you select risk 5 and choose the CH32V00X series. As you can see from the CH32V00X evaluation board reference, if we look over uh, here uh, on point 7, we can see VCC, GND, and PD1. And then if we scroll down to the uh, reference, we can see that this is the debug interface for downloading simulating sync or wire communication. And we only need SWDIO to connect to PD1. Okay, now if we look here, we have code for running a basic GPIO. And I'm going to be printing to uh, our COM port in order to see now if I build and run the project, uh, you will see that uh, everything is working fine. Now, if I open the COM port, you see that it's printing and uh, there is uh, now, if I want to reset this, so you see if I want to reset this, uh, if I do it the conventional way of pressing the reset button, then it simply just takes us to the original functional code which is not what we want so if i press reset as i've done now you see that it just goes back to the original so we want to completely clear the mcu that way we can be able to access pd1 again and in order to do this we are going to use the wch utility link tool now when we open the link tool uh, i'm using version 1.9 uh, upon and you can download this now you can download this from the WCH website by uh, searching for link so if you go to the English version of the website and search you can search for uh, the link and you can be able to if you scroll down a bit you find the WCH link and if you scroll at the bottom for downloads associated with the WCH link you will find the utility tool. So you see WCH link local burning tool and uh, you will find it and you can download the zip file and access the program. Now, once you have selected the link, you're going to select V00X series and RISC-V MCU. Now on target here, what you do is you want to clear all code by power off. Now upon clicking this, now, upon clicking this, you see at the bottom here it says succeed, and which means it has cleared all the data in the MCU. And now it is ready for reprogramming. So if we see the GPIO values are no longer being printed, showing that there's been a clear reset of the MCU. And if we re-download uh, and reflash our MCU, we can see that we now go back again to the same scenario. So that's it for flashing the MCU in case PD1 is taken. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below and we'll make sure to reply as soon as possible.